G'day folks, today I will do a review of my John Deere 5055E and I have my nephew and niece here for uh, about uh, nine days, that's correct and we will all be together and washing my tractor and then I will do a review Okay, you guys, what are you doing? Are you gonna get off the bucket so uh, I can do a review of my John Deere tractor? No. No! No, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll get mad and I'll pull you guys off the bucket. Or you could lift us up in the bucket. No, no, that's too dangerous. Well, there you go. This is my uh, 5055E John Deere tractor. And this is an honest review. Uh, nobody's paying me to do this review, so I'll be as honest as possible. Um, do I like it? Yes, I do. Um, I bought it brand new about three years ago. And I think it's a 2013, because I think it sat like two years in the parking lot. Um, but I did get a discount because of that. Okay, the front tires are 9.5 by 24. The rear tires are 16.9 by 28. Okay, as you can see, there's uh, 271 hours. So that's very, very low hours. Uh, sorry, it's not for sale. This is for the, the lights here. I got the hazard and the high beam. Uh, this is my uh, signal light. Right here I got the arm for the, uh, the rear power takeoff. This tractor is extremely um, a base model. There's no fancy electric button. Everything is manual, including the power takeoff here is manual. Um, this is the one of the sticks for the transmission. So I got A, B and C. Usually uh, I use it only on B. Uh, but if I work in the bush and I need to crawl really really slowly I'll put it on A and uh, so to go fast on the highway I'll put it on C and on the other side here I've got one two three in reverse and park I don't know the, the sun is bright so I don't know if you can see that on the camera there we go now we can see it Okay, this is the gas here, and if I need to give it more gas, then I have the uh, the throttle right here. Give it more gas. This here is, to, is the arm right here to uh, operate the loader. So again, as you can see, the dash is really, really plain. Uh, I got the uh, RPM, the odometer. I got the fuel gauge here and I got the temperature gauge this is the key to start it here uh, in the winter time I can just put the key on and then I, I just push on the key like that and hold it for let's say 20 seconds and um, it's not glow plug I guess it's called a, a preheater so, I, so I, I keep it pushed for a while and then, then I can start it 
This here is the seat adjustment. Okay, this is, a, is one connection to put hydraulics. Let's say you wanted to put an angle blade and it's got a cylinder and uh, you want to change uh, the pitch of the blade. Well, you got one hydraulic connection. It's only one. Uh, there's a lot of tractors that you have yeah, four or six connections. But again, this is a really base model tractor. It's very simple. There's no electronic buttons that can break down. Uh, I think this here is for the power for electric brakes, I think. Okay, this here is a H240 loader. It is not a self-leveling loader. Again, I'm going to say it again, it's a very base model tractor, so it is, it's not full of junk and gimmicks that can break down. It's very, very simple. Everything is absolutely manual. The uh, cylinders are about three inches in diameter. Very, very strong. I think this loader can lift about 3,000 pounds. Again in the front here, nice big cylinders. I like this here. This uh, plastic cover, it, it's hiding all the uh, hydraulic hose. It's tucked in nice and neatly. See the hydraulic hose are coming out here too, hooking up to the cylinder. This here is the global quick attach. Very easy to take on and off the uh, variety of attachments. Okay, this here is just a very basic clutch, just like your 1970 tractor. There's not much different here. Uh, I got a fuse box here, and there's your rear brakes. Okay, this arm right here. This this just the uh, the control for the uh, the rear hyd rear hydraulics. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. There's a huge battery here, a radiator. This is a, a nice big uh, air filter or air cleaner, whatever you want to call it. There's the oil filter here. This is where you put the oil in, the alternator. Okay, so it's just a little uh, 55 horsepower, three cylinder uh, turbo diesel. This here's the antifreeze. 
Okay, let's take a look under the tractor, see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the, the drive shaft for the uh, four-wheel drive system. So I've got the hydraulic cylinders here for power steering. See, everything is made super, super strong. Look at the big axle here. There's your differential. Very, very sturdy, heavy tractor. Okay, going towards the rear of the tractor. This is where the drive shaft comes into. Look at the axle. That is very, he very heavy duty axle. Here's your uh, drawbar here. That's your three point inch. Look, look at the size, look at the size of that axle. That is so heavy duty. There's your slow moving sign. This is for the uh, hydraulic fluid. There's the operator. This gives the uh, gives protection for the operator. Lights. Nice uh, backup light. There's a. Uh, it even comes with a toolbox. This is pretty handy. Put some a uh, piece, short piece of chain, some vice grip. Okay, when I bought this tractor, uh, the owner's manual was in here, but I took it out of there. I'd rather have the owner's manual in the house, so now I'll just, uh, you know, keep a rag in here. You can put tools in here. Okay, I'm going to talk about the gears again a little bit more in details. Again, I got A, B, and C. Most of the time when I work with the tractor, I leave it on B. And on this side here, I got the reverse, one, two, three, and park. Um, when I plow snow, I like to leave it on B and I just use the second gear and the reverse. Um, if I, when I jump from reverse to second gear, the tractor does not need to be stopped. So I really like that feature, especially when I snow plow or, or something like that. I do have one complaint about this tractor is when I put this this uh, gear stick on C and then I put it on reverse it is way way too fast that's the only complaint that I have about it I, I wish John Deere wouldn't have put the reverse so bloody fast um, but again it's only when I have it on C because sometimes I like to put it on C to, to snow plow if I want to go faster you know, I, I like to plow on C and using the second gear, but then when I want to go in reverse, the tractor almost does not, not have enough power to, to reverse. It does, but, uh, you know, it, it struggles. It, it's, it's geared way too high. So, but I really like this tractor. That's the only complaint I have about it. All right, guys, that's it for the review of this tractor. And like I said, I'm very super satisfied with this tractor. Um, the only thing maybe I would change on this tractor is maybe put wider front tires and the um, The reverse is too fast when I put it on C uh, But other than that I absolutely recommend this uh, tractor uh, To me, it's it's a good size. It's not too small. It's big enough to do serious work with it uh, But yet it's small enough if I want to go in the in the woods and uh, you know blaze a trail and go under trees It's not too big it does not have the cab, so it goes really good in the bush. I like to be in fresh air. Uh, the only th time I would miss having a cab is when I snow plow in the winter time. But other than that, I'm, I'm really happy with the choice. And uh, if I'd buy another tractor, I would probably buy the same one. Thanks for watching.